Hi there, it's the Angry Environmentalist out with you again today. And as you can see by that frame there, it's uh, Hilton Hotel I checked into here. I've got a uh, job with my work. So we're just going to check and do a quick environmental audit here. Uh, I took a quick look around, it all looks pretty good. Um, all the fixtures have the compact fluorescence, so that's all good. Energy savings. Uh, this one here has got a compact fluorescent in, probably burning out your eyes watching it there. Uh, we got a big screen TV. I guess that's not quite so environmentally sensitive, but I think they actually use about the same as uh, the smaller CRT, CRTs or the old style TVs, so uh, in terms of energy use. Um, quick look here. Now, the one thing I don't like is they turn on the bathroom fan up there the same time you turn on the light switch. So this, this switch operates the fan and that. They really should have it on separately, but I guess a lot of clients probably don't turn the fan on and get rid of the moisture and that can cause problems in the building over time. So I think that's acceptable. Um, another big screen TV in the bedroom here. And um, just gonna take a look at the nice view. I'm on the 16th floor, so. You know, it's interesting when you get up here, you can see certain things, you know, like here, um, the folks have decided to put some greenway greenery down there now that's probably at, at the third floor level or something like that so you know that does help that helps reduce the load for air conditioning in the in the summer and uh, it provides a little urban forestry which which is helpful to everybody and as you can see in this community if there's a lot of trees planted um, this is the urban core here of this particular community. Now, the, now the, there's a difference. There's a concrete parkade and that's got a white reflective surface and that one across the street uh, it's got a black surface and that creates a lot of load for air conditioning. It creates a lot of heat in the in the city. Uh, you know we should all as a society we should look at you know if we're going to use roads we should look at getting them as reflective as possible to reflect as much of the heat and light it back up as possible. Um, it costs money to heat things, costs money to cool things, so we should use natural elements. And that's, I think that's the biggest thing in building now that you see that, that's lacking from 70 or 80 years ago is people took advantage of natural known phenomena to try and you know, heat or cool their building a little better. Now it's, well, we'll just put in some air conditioning and we'll pound it on. But, you know, these people are a little more thoughtful here. They've got this urban setting. And of course, it adds to the hotel. They can probably charge a couple extra bucks. So uh, everybody thinks, oh, you know, we can't save the environment. It's going to cost us too much money. Well, some of it's savings. Like the easy parts, really, it's it's all about saving money. Now, there's, there's a roof that's semi-dark. And I always wonder, well, why couldn't... They find some sort of material that's more, that's lighter in color that's going to reflect more of the heat, reduce the overall load on the building. So, um, you know, I got a little window down here that actually opens, so you can you can open and close that window, which is nice because you can take advantage of a little bit of heating and cooling yourself. So, um, anyway, I guess that's about it. Uh, there's not a lot to be angry about today. I got a lovely suite here. And uh, it's in a high-rise building, which, you know, they say is more environmentally sensitive than a bunch of sprawled out, uh, sprawled out different types of, of, you know, hotels or whatever. You, those type of things are not environmentally sensitive. They're trying to encourage people to, to do more high-rise high density living that type of thing. So, you know, a high-rise hotel fits into that idea as well. So, anyway, signing off for today, the uh, not-too-angry environmentalist.